walking out to that arena and you know you ain't thinking of nothing else but the combinations you've been going over and thinking about doing the shot and this and this submission and this and you that stuff's going through your mind and going through your mind and the music's playing and you're hitting the mitts and you're getting ready and focused you don't give a shit about nothing else going around you except for the shit that you work yeah there's people that uh, that are born with heart and there's people that aren't you know and always had heart my biggest fear was giving up but the only time I ever gave up was April 16th 2006 you know that's the only time I, I gave up but yeah I'm focused rededicated training hard This game, man, it's inches. It is inches. It is. It is absolute inches. Because everybody can have an off night, including both fighters in the same cage can have an off night. But if my off night is just this much better than his off night, that's all it takes. Well, fighting. Working on getting better at fighting. Think about taking up this fighting thing. We started doing some kicking, some punching, some elbowing, a little kneeing, some taking me down, a little jujitsu, just putting people in bad spots, making it hurt. That's what we're working on. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. My favorite part's being two or three minutes into the fight when you start throwing, you start moving, you're trying to figure that guy out, you know, and that's, you know, when you get lumped up a little bit and you're cut, and he's cut, and you're, now it's a fight. Now it's like, okay, all right, buddy, now I see what you got, bro. <laughs> you know, anybody can get lucky and catch you in three minutes, right? But not when you fight me, you know. I'm gonna come after you and I'm gonna make it hard on you and, you know. My goal is when we get done fighting is you don't ever, 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 ever want to step in the cage with me again, ever again and go, man, I want, I want you to question like, oh, dude, I don't ever want to have to do that again, you know? So, and that's what I, that's what I work for. That's what I think of when I'm rolling. I got out, got in my car, flew to Arizona, and by the time I was in Arizona, everything locked up. Like I'd just been hit by a train. I get to Arizona and they're like, you ready to go? And I'm like, no, I hurt so bad right now. Everything hurts. I don't know, I kind of came to this conclusion, like either you want it or you're not. And now's the time and I wanted to do it. I met this guy, Josh Berkman, and he said, hey man, I'm training for a fight, a UFC fight, you know, and train at this place down in Salt Lake, meet me down there. We do this on Monday, this on Wednesday, this on Friday. Yeah, uh, and I came down on my first day, I came down, we did our sparring, we did great. The Wednesday rolled around. Wednesday night I showed up and Josh wasn't there. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, hey man, uh, you know, man, money is tight right now. I'm working, and uh, at the time, I had only had just over a year of sobriety, so I was real new in sobriety and recovery. And, uh, you know, I had lots of fines and lawyer fees and restitution, and uh, I had, you know, uh, and so, like, to, to take 40 minutes to drive here from Layton to get down here, I was, like, uh, I was pretty upset that there wasn't training going on. And Rob said, well, that doesn't matter, he said, uh, I'm training for this kettlebell workout, we're going to do a kettlebell workout, and then in 45 minutes, a jiu-jitsu class starts, would you like to go? And I said, absolutely. I said, I don't have a gi with me. I have a gi, but I don't have it with me. He said, don't care. And so we did a kettlebell workout. I remember the first workout, it was the long cycle, and you gave me a uh, lighter than what I ended up working up to, but I started really light, and he showed me this technique, and we just did the... Uh, we did some warm-up stuff, did some, and then did this long cycle. And I was just like, 
it was, uh, I'd never worked with them before. And so we did this long cycle. We did 20 minutes and felt, you know, felt great. And I came in and I grappled and, you know, we went through and I got probably four or five rounds in and then got finished. And I was like, thanks, man, that was wonderful. And uh, that's how it started. And then uh, I showed up for the rest of Josh's camp and, you know, he showed up for most of his training sessions. He had lots of things going on and, you know, with being in the UFC, man, you're in the limelight and you get this and that. So, you know, and yeah, and it was, uh, you know, you get people coming in and filming and then, you know, he was off to Vegas or California, and, you know, and so, uh, but yeah, we had this great relationship and then uh, I don't remember how it came about, but I got offered to fight Jeremy Horn uh, right after a sparring, a boxing sparring practice on a Friday. And I was still smoking Blend 27, Marlboro Blend 27, a pack a day. <laughs> I was still smoking. And uh, I remember I sat in here and uh, I don't remember who it was. I think Derek Downey came in and sparred with me and Josh. So we showed up and we had all these practices and then they said, yeah, you know, we're gonna have this big promotion, this fight or whatever. Would you fight Jeremy Horn? And I was like, uh, I don't know. And so I walked out and I lit up the cigarette and I was smoking a cigarette, thinking about it, pondering it. Got in my car. I didn't smoke until after I left. I didn't want to start smoking. But, uh, I left. I was driving, and I got on the freeway, and I decided I was going to take it. I called my, who's now my wife, Chelsea, at the time. I wasn't married yet. We just celebrated seven years of marriage. So this is over seven years ago. And I called her and I said, "Hey, do you think I ought to take this fight with Jeremy Horn?" And she said, "Why not?" And I said, "Yeah." And I remember everybody in here was like, "You beat." Beat some of his top, you know, some of his top students and uh, you know his training partners. And um, what do you have to lose? And I was like, all right. Well, I better quit smoking. And that was October 26, 2007. I crunched up my cigarettes. I don't litter. That's one thing. Uh, I don't do it. I litter on that day. Threw the cigarettes out the window. But I haven't had a cigarette since <laughs> April 16, 2006, or uh, October 26, 2007. And then uh, I called him back, and I called my wife, and then uh, I got assigned to fight Jeremy Horn. And then I went, hey, uh, I probably ought to have a coach for this deal. So we started coaching, and we started working together. Those three days, 